Okay, so welcome to part two of the vlog. I also stayed in, I'm in the exact same place I finished the last one because it's like 20 seconds later. Um, so yeah, so we've got Hamish. So yeah, so we're going to be doing part two. So hopefully in this part, we might, I might be reading some arcs. So that's kind of exciting because I just got NetGalley and I've been approved for a few. So that's very exciting. I just got approved for TJ Clune's next book, which I'm very excited for. And also this one called Phoenix Extravagant by Yoon Harley, which I saw Justine from I Should Read That mention it on her channel. And as soon as she described it, I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> this sounds amazing. I'm going to try and request it. And I got approved. So that's very exciting because I've read Dragon Pearl by him. I think it's a him. Yeah. Um, And I really love that. And yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed the vlog. We've got some monkeys coming up, hopefully. So yeah, so enjoy that and I'll see you all soon. monkey back. I know it's called piggyback. These are very active. and welcome back to the vlog so today well this is actually the first like reading update of part two of the vlog which <laughs> i'm currently having a lot of trouble uploading part one because <laughs> well yeah it's just i think the wi-fi is probably a bit slow here so um yeah that's uh, maybe going up sometime it's been uploading for about 24 hours and it's still on about 20 percent <laughs> So maybe that won't be uploaded till we get home, but you know, what can you do? And also the tumble dryer thing's on, so if you hear some background noise, that's what that is. I'm just about to do a bit of online book shopping. That's why I've got my laptop here with all my lovely stickers. Because I just found out my exam results and I passed, so I wanted to treat myself a little bit. <laughs> Um, yeah, because it means quite a lot to me because I had some time off uni and just like finally getting here and like completing third year, which has taken me like three years. Um, yeah, it just means a lot to me. So I'm finally a fourth year, which is really cool. But yeah, unless I'm going to go on Amazon. I do try not to support Amazon, but I don't know, just for today we're on there because <laughs> I guess it's just kind of easier Um, yeah so what I've been reading today well we went to the monkey sanctuary this morning which I think I'm, I'm gonna try and put some um, 
I'll, I think I'll put some of the monkey clips in because I did get some good clips, I think. They were all so cute. And this afternoon, I have been reading A Get Alive Chloe Brown. Um, so I was already about 40% of the way through this on my Kindle when we came on holiday. But then I've just read the rest today and I really enjoyed it. It was just a really fun romance. I really like Chloe Brown. I really like all the Brown sisters actually. I'm so excited that we get a book for each of them because like there's Danny's book that's already out. So I'm gonna buddy read that with Rue soon. And then also Eve Brown's getting a book and she was my favorite, even though we got a very tiny amount of it. I just loved her. <laughs> so I'm really excited for her book. And I read the synopsis but I'm Goodreads and it just sounds like complete chaos. <laughs> I'm so excited. I really enjoyed Get Life Chloe Brown. I think I'm gonna give it four stars. I think, well, there was a few like quite steamy scenes, which I don't know. I was more there for the like cute romance. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. Chloe was such a great character. She kind of reminded me of me a bit in some things like the kind of how she was scared to like trust anyone like with a relationship and like, is it worth it? Or that kind of thing. I. I liked and then read oh bless his little heart <laughs> yeah I thought his storyline was done quite well and yeah I just thought it was really cute and like when they were writing like snipe emails to each other <laughs> that was so funny they had such great banter as well so I so I've got my laptop I don't know how well you can see it <laughs> I don't know how people do these like come online book shopping things with me so I'm definitely gonna get loveless so you can't really see anything. So I'm gonna add that to the basket. So that's by Alice Oseman. That just like came out today, I think. Um, which is exciting. And I really wanna read it, cause yeah. Um, okay, what else have I got in here? Oh, that's quite cheap. So there's an Ursula Le Guin book. I'm on my wish list, cause I don't know, I usually just add books to my wish list if they sound interesting and then when I feel like buying books <laughs> I go on my wish list and then just choose what sounds good. Um, so I've got the word for world is forest, that's by Ursula Le Guin. I've heard some good things about that and I read The Left Hand of Darkness by her which I absolutely love but I'm interested to try something else because she's like a classic author. I've got all the full metal things. <laughs> I'm not buying any more of them until I've read what I've got. Okay. N.K. Jemison. The only book of his I haven't read is How Long Till Black Future Month, which is on my wish list, so I might get that one. I'm going to try not to buy too much. I'm going to try not to spend like over £10. But if you go on the like used stuff, like, you know, it has like underneath it buy from new and used. I tend to go on there to see if there's any good deals because like sometimes there is some really good deals. Oh yeah, and then I've also been listening to the audiobook for Ember and the Ice Dragons, um, which I'm kind of feeling a bit meh about so far. Like, it's cute, but it's not my favourite middle grade ever or anything. It's like this girl who, she's she's a dragon, but she's been like turned into a human and like raised as a human. And then, and she, I think she's gone to like school or something in the Antarctic. She discovers there that the like royalty are hunting these ice dragons. So she wants to try and defend the ice dragons. <laughs> so yeah, I, I think it has potential. Um, I'm enjoying listening to the audiobook. So yeah, I'm gonna keep doing that. Okay, so I've got some options. Ooh, Tea Dragon Society. No, I'm not buying that. Okay. <laughs> so what have we got? We've got, let's look at these. So then I have to like open all the tabs to see the like new and used offers. <laughs> Let's look at the tiger's daughter. I've heard good things about that as well. So, I'm sorry this is if this is gonna be really like boring. <laughs> I'll try and insert something like exciting onto the screen. I just feel like it's kind of chatty. And what I do after that is I add to the basket but I might still trim the basket down. Also, I'll try and look because if something's a lot cheaper, like if it's a lot cheaper on Kindle, I'll try and get it on here. So my last clip got kind of cut off because my phone died. <laughs> so um, what I ended up buying was Loveless by Alice Oseman and um, The Tiger's Daughter by K. Arsenal Riviera. 
And then I also got um, Take a Hint Danny Brown on my Kindle, which I'm going to be buddy reading with Ruth. So I'm very excited about that because I really enjoyed Get Alive Chloe Brown. So yeah, so what I've been reading, I decided, I know I said at the beginning of my first vlog that I was going to try and read a couple of arcs that I'd got from NetGalley, but I ended up, I think I'm going to save them and do like them in a separate vlog of like an arc reading vlog, maybe. <laughs> now I'm a reading vlog pro, but yeah, so I've actually been trying to finish off some books on my Kindle that I've been currently reading for ages because my currently reading list was getting a bit extensive. So I've been trying to finish off lots of books, which I'm quite pleased with myself. And yeah, so like finally getting them finished feels really good. So I finished City of Strife, um, which I really enjoyed. It's kind of, it's just like your standard kind of fantasy. <laughs> it's like set in a sort of almost like Venetian type city. It's quite similar to like Lies of Block Lamora and there's two kind of sides of the city that are sort of at war with each other almost. And then there's various characters that you follow. And yeah, it's kind of hard to explain the plot really. <laughs> um, but I really enjoyed it. I only sort of read the second half. I'd already read the first half. But yeah, the second half really, I think, picked up the action and the plot was a lot more like follow <laughs> followable. And yeah, I really like that. Uh, most of the characters are like some form of LGBTQ plus. And yeah, one of the main characters was um, asexual, which was really cool because you don't see that a lot in fiction. And yeah, all the other characters are like bi or <laughs> gay or whatever. So yeah, so that was really nice to see. I think it's a series because I didn't feel like it's super wrapped up at the end of the book. It sort of felt like the characters had got into position for the next book, <laughs> if that makes sense. So yeah, so that's that one. Then I also read a couple of novellas. So I read Moon Tangled, which is a little short story. It's only about 80 pages. I really enjoyed it. I just saw it on Twitter that it was like on offer for 99p, so I got it. <laughs> I'm such a sucker for 99p deals. And yeah, it was really sweet. It's just, it's like, it's a female-female um, kind of romance, but they're already sort of in a romance, but they've had this big, like, misunderstanding. <laughs> like, one of the characters is, like, she's, I think, she's, like, at a school training to be a magician, and then the other character, she's, like, this up-and-coming up politician. They've been, like, secretly engaged for many years, but then suddenly there's this big misunderstanding, <laughs> but then they end up both sort of going into this, like, magical woods, yeah, and then they get into, like, a bother there. They get tricked by this, like, woodland fae or something. And they have to try and puzzle their way out of it together. And they're just sort of making up. Um, so, yeah, that was really sweet. And I would highly recommend it. If you just want, like, a little light kind of, yeah, like, fantasy rom-com. <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah, so that was a lot of fun. And I also read the novella Emergency Skin by N.K. Jemsen. So this one's, like, super short. It's only about 30 pages or something. It took, like, half an hour to read. And I really enjoyed it. It's very political, <laughs> so, but I feel like me, myself, and a lot of people who watch this channel probably are quite like left-wing liberal people, so <laughs> yeah, you probably like it. It's just kind of, it's part of this collection, I think, called Forward, and it's actually free if you've got Amazon Prime, which I do, so that was good, but it's very cheap otherwise, I think, and yeah, and it's just this idea of this world has been like split where some people like there's kind of been left and then there's these like founder people who've gone off and like made loads of advances to technology and they kind of have these like I don't know how to explain it like skin suits almost with like a consciousness implanted inside and then one of them sort of returns to earth and yeah so it's quite it's very interesting and I think it it raises some important like topics because like they see the earth as this like big villainous place but actually the earth now that all these like <laughs> rich old men have left it it's become quite a like a good community to live in and like people are kind of uplifting everyone like sharing stuff um and it's like the character realizing that that how they've been like raised i don't know <laughs> um is wrong but and the earth is actually doing it much better now but it's also told from like a second person perspective which i guess nk jemsen quite likes but i thought it worked so well in this book because the 
the perspective is it's like so this you're implant it gets implanted into your brain and then you have other like things in your brain talking to you i don't know and they're kind of what's telling you the story so speaking to you as if you were this thing that's like returning to earth so yeah it was really cool and i really enjoyed it so yeah so they're my updates for now Okay, so it's a new day, <laughs> even though I'm in exactly the same spot. I've tried to vary up the spots a little bit, but yeah, <laughs> we'll see. But um, yeah, so what I've been reading today, I've been reading Thorn, which I'll put a little picture because I can't quite remember the name of the author, which was another book I was kind of part way through on my Kindle and wanted to finish off. But yeah, I really enjoyed this. It's a retelling of Goose Girl, like the fairy tale and yeah it just it had that like it had such kind of a fairy tale feeling to it it's like where a princess kind of she gets body swapped and with this with this like companion almost so she's on her way to be married to this prince and yeah and she gets body swapped and the companion is kind of evil so she takes the role of the princess and like um makes the actual princess into like a servant who and she like becomes a goose girl who like looks after the geese and yeah and it was really good and there was such a cute little like found family like all these like um like the princess and the kids from the stables and they were just all so sweet and yeah I really like the kind of mystery there's this like evil lady like sorcerer who's like put a curse on them so yeah and the writing style was so beautiful as well it yeah very felt very much like a fairy tale and yeah you just kind of got enveloped and yeah the kind of setting was cool as well like just the kind of classic <laughs> um setting so I'd really highly recommend that I haven't seen it talked about much but yeah I really enjoyed it and yeah and then I also read last night a bit more of Valor so I'm up to about 200 pages and I'm loving this so much <laughs> I don't know I just I'm really starting to like be very invested in the characters now like Corbin oh, I love him and Sven and yeah I just love them both and also there's this new character that so far I've only had one chapter from her she's called Coraline but I just loved her so much <laughs> even though we only had a tiny bit but I know she's gonna be like one of my favorites and then there's this other character called Camlin who's really, really growing on me. Like, he's quickly becoming one of my favourites. Um, so, yeah. And there's this, like, race of kind of angel things called the Benelem. And they're super shady. I really don't trust them. So I'm interested to see. Because this is, like, prophecy. And which is, like, between, like, good and evil. But I'm not entirely convinced that like good is good and evil is evil. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Um, but I'm enjoying learning more about like the prophecy in this book and the kind of politics that is building up. And Veritas still needs to be slapped over the head with some common sense. But also I think he's starting to realise. <laughs> so I'm pleased with him. I'll be very proud of him if he ever, if he ever... Um, gets his act together but yeah <laughs> so that's my thoughts on that and then for in terms of reading plans for the rest of the evening this outfit looks really weird from here but i just got a top on like under my dress for sun protection <laughs> um i so see yeah. so i'm gonna read more of valor because yeah i just want to read more and also i want to try and read some of empire of silence because I'm trying to buddy read this with Brittany from Books with Brittany. But I've been such a bad buddy reader. I've only got like, I think I'm about, what am I, 40 pages in. <laughs> um, I'm liking it so far. Uh, not much has really happened. Um, but yeah, it's kind of the main character sort of telling his story. Um, yeah, and a bit of like politics going on. So yeah, we'll see what happens with that. And then also I listened to the audiobook for the next murder bot 
diaries i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> um artificial condition and oh i love this so much there's this new character so murderbot is like trying to pretend to be a human basically um and he kind of ran away at the end of the last book like on this other ship and this ship is so funny it's called art well he's not called art i think murderbot just refers to him as such and it sounds for like asshole research transporter or something. But yeah, he's just such a great character. And the little um like banter between art and Murderbot is just so good. Like and they end up watching like um TV shows together. <laughs> Cause Murderbot really likes like these TV shows, like Sanctuary Moon is what it's called, I think. And then yeah, and he gets the art um to watch them with him. And it's so funny. It's like what would happen if like two, I guess, AIs were having a conversation with each other. And it was just great. And yeah, so I loved art. And then I also loved kind of mid bot sort of getting a bit more of his human side almost. I don't know why I'm now referring to as him as a he, even when the last time I said I thought there was a she. But I think it's technically it. But I think it's because the narrators a man so that's what it sounded like now um because i listened to the audiobook so yeah so i really enjoyed it and i liked how yeah murderbot was sort of exploring more of his like human side and learning a bit more about sort of human emotions <laughs> and yeah and it was so, so funny when he like got nervous instead of like looking at the people he was talking to who would like switch to a different feed and like watch them <laughs> from a distance but yeah oh, murderbot's just such a little sweetheart but yeah, so I really enjoyed that. And I think, well, tomorrow we have like a long car journey home. So I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to listen to the rest of the murder bo audio books or maybe I'll finish up the other books that I'm reading on audio, <laughs> which I probably should do. But yeah, so we'll see. Okay, so it's later in the evening now. And this is probably going to be my final update from the house. But I probably will update when we get home tomorrow because I want to unbox a couple of packages that I think have arrived because <laughs> my brother and his girlfriend are still at home. So they've been there to receive packages. So just wrap up all the stuff that I read on holiday. So this evening I've been reading a bit more of Malice. I'm like nearly 300 pages into it. And there's so much action going on. Like from page, about page 200 to 300, it's like very, a lot of things are happening. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I do think sometimes, because there's like, there's a lot of POVs in this series. And I think sometimes it kind of jumps around a lot. Like, you'll be getting into the action in one, like, little set. And then it'll jump to another. And it does kind of work well, because you want to keep reading to find out, like, <laughs> what's happening next. But sometimes it does get slightly annoying. But I mean, I'm still loving the book. Like, it's not enough to put me off or anything. And the, the main character, Corbin, he's starting to learn magic, which is so cool. Um, yeah, so I really like that. And yeah, I'm just loving all the characters. And also, yeah, update on Veridus. <laughs> he's, he's still a bit, he still needs to get his act together. But now he's kind of interacting more with Sweat, Sven, Sven. So I think maybe they're going to like team up or something or she's gonna like try and persuade him to be good maybe i don't know we'll see but i just i'm waiting for him to betray the prince character and it's gonna be so satisfying if he does <laughs> if he never does then <laughs> we'll never know but yeah so that's one thing i'm predicting might happen so i'm just gonna read a bit more of this for the rest of the evening and um, then yeah tomorrow i'm gonna listen to my audiobook in the car i think i'm gonna listen to the next few like murderbot books well definitely the like next two short ones and then the, f the fifth one i think is actually a full length novel so i might not be able to listen to all of that but i'll make a start so yeah so that's my plan <laughs> Okay, so we're back at home now. Got my bookshelves back. I thought I'd do a slightly different angle just to mix things up a bit. And my um, phone is very precariously balanced <laughs> on my chair. So, oh God, my fringe. Oh, it's starting to look better, but it's still a bit of a mess. But anyway, I'll just put it out of the way. I've been traveling all day, so I'm a bit... <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, so I just thought I would, I've got some parcels that I thought I would unbox because they um, came while we were away. And then yeah, today I've just been listening to my audiobook in the car. And yeah, I went on a bit of a murder bot binge. <laughs> oh, oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so this is Loveless by Alice Oseman. So it's in good condition for Amazon. <laughs> Sometimes Amazon like to um, bash them around. But yeah, I'm very excited for this. And yeah, so I'll probably be reading this quite soon. So yeah. Um, and then, so yeah, so earlier in the vlog I bought that. That that clip was a big mess. <laughs> and then this one, I think I know what this one is. Um, ooh. I ordered it a long time ago, but I'm very excited for it. I'm not very good at opening things. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, that's very pretty. So yeah, so this is The Name of All Things by Jen Lyons. And this is the second book in the Ruin of Kings series. So yeah, so I'm very excited. I, I always check the page count. Ooh, so over 700 pages. That's chunky. But I also want to try and get to this soon because I love the first one a lot. I love Kieran. He's such a funny character. And I think the last book actually comes out later this year. So yeah. So that's my little book haul. And then yeah, in terms of reading, I read the Murderbot books three and four actually I read yeah I think I already talked about the second one but yeah I read three and four and I really like them I really love Murderbot he's such a funny character he's like so anti-social um but yeah I loved like seeing about the kind of human like interactions through his eyes he's so like sassy um yeah so I really enjoyed that and then I started listening to You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson and I'm really enjoying that so far. I guess I'm about 75% of the way through because it's quite a short audio book and I listen to it on two times speed. But yeah, I'm really enjoying that. And yeah, it's quite like, it's just like a fluffy contemporary. <laughs> so yeah, um, so that's what I've been reading. Um, I'm sorry, this is the most coherent thing ever. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, and part one as well. Yeah, I don't know how many vlogs I'll be doing in the future. I'm definitely doing another one with um, some of my friends' like favourite books that I'm reading. And then I might do the reading rush. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> that might be too much vlogging. <laughs> um, and yeah, and also I have a giveaway going on on Twitter at the moment. So you might want to enter that if you haven't already. Because yeah, just... Um, Yes, that is everything. <laughs> so I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you next time.